this time of year, don't you? Yes! And I can see you're really excited. Why, Sagwa? The Moon Festival! And what's the best thing about the Moon Festival? The Moon Cakes! Wah! And do you know why we have Moon Cakes for the Moon Festival? No, Mama. Well, it all goes back to a time when China was in great danger. Our country's enemies were everywhere. What have you gotten there? I'm taking some moon cakes to my father so he can celebrate the moon festival. Moon cakes? What are moon cakes? They're just little pastries with lotus seeds inside. Show me. Would you like to try one? Hmm. father was a Chinese general who had been taken captive. Here is your moon cake, Baba. Hidden inside the general's moon cake was a very important secret message that would help him defeat China's enemies. And that's why we have moon cakes at the moon festival. It's fun to sit and talk together like this, isn't it? Where are you off to in such a hurry? I just remembered. I have to practice my Tai Chi for the martial arts demonstration. Okay. Who's next? Uh, you told us yesterday we could go out to play before lunch. There they go again. Why can't we get started with the family portrait? Because the whole family isn't here. Come out, come out wherever you are. And I'm not going to have my portrait painted without my precious little darlings. Quite right. Our three daughters are visions of luminous loveliness. No, I mean my precious darling little sleeve dogs. <gasps> and our beautiful daughters, of course. But they're not here either. I can see that. It is so important to have family activities that we can all enjoy together, don't you think? Yes, I do, my cherished Lychee. Only I seem to be the only member of the family who's taking it seriously. Yes, what is it? Your Magistrate, we need a proclamation written for the Moon Festival. <laughs> Mama Meow. Don't like to eat alone, huh? Oh, good, you're here. It's almost lunchtime. Lunchtime? That's what I came to talk to you about. We're having a very important meeting of the Opera Committee, so I'm going to be late for lunch. Sorry. See you later. And there he goes again. I 
I don't like the dress I'm wearing now. This is mine. Don't even think about it. Daughters, we can't have our family portrait painted without you. Come on. <laughs> Got you! Come along, young ladies. You look ready to me. Did you see how Tai Tai caught them? Boom! Right up her sleeves! Tell us it's wrong to let food go to waste. Children, it's way past lunchtime. Where have you been? I've been waiting for you. But if you are hungry, Mama, why didn't you eat something? Because this isn't about being hungry, Shigua. It's about being a family. And lately, it feels like everyone is so busy with their own interests that we don't have any time to be a family and tell each other about how our day is going. Mama. Come along, Baba Meow and Mama Meow. The magistrate needs you to write a poster about the Moon Festival. Oh. The Moon Festival? Oh, no. I forgot all about it. I have to get the ingredients for the moon cakes. Hmm? Moon cakes? That's it! What's it? Remember the story about the moon cakes and the secret message? Don't you think Mama would love to get a message from us? Mm-hmm. What is keeping those girls? I thought they were right behind me. Hit that gong. Give it a good whack. That should get their attention. How are the preparations coming along for the Moon Festival? Is it really too much to ask for this family to do something together, on time, and without all this squabbling? Have we kept you waiting? Here's my plan. Mama's upset because we don't do enough together, right? Well, it's time for the Moon Festival. So let's all put a special message for Mama inside a moon cake. <laughs> you look funny, Huangdo. You know, you really ought to use a mirror when you put on your makeup. <laughs> <laughs> I look funny? Well, you look like you swallow a sour plum. Let's give Baba a great big black mustache. Ay ya! You'll get into terrible trouble, look do. Just kidding. Huh? Put this in a moon cake, do you? Have you ever wondered what you'd look like with a mustache, Baba? No, why? I think a mustache might look rather distinguished on you. Then I'll think about it, my delicious mooncake. Of course, if I did, we'd need to have a brand new family portrait painted. <laughs>
some cakes. Let's see what it says. It says, we love you. Hmm. I wonder who it could be from. It's from us, Mama. All of us. Thank you, my lovely, lovely family. Thank you. It's fun being together, isn't it? May I be excused, please? Donghua? Just kidding. map. Yes. And look, it's signed by my great ancestor Sun Yin Tzu, the poet. This is incredible. I have heard his name before, but I have never seen any of his poetry scrolls. Most of these scrolls were burned in a fire many, many years ago. But it is said that he saved some copies and hid them away for safekeeping. Oh, this is wonderful news. A treasure. Reader, Go fetch that English archaeologist who's working in the mountains. He can be our treasure hunter. Right away, your magistrate. Soon the long-lost treasure will be home where it belongs. Thank you, my dear Sagwa. What do you think, Sir Richard? If everything goes according to plan, I think we'll find this amazing treasure trove of poetry within several years. Several years? Unless we get lucky. Oh! Whoa! Are you all right, Sir Richard? All right? I'm perfect. I just found my good luck kitten. May I take her along? Cats always bring me luck. Of course. Whatever helps you find the scrolls. know if this archaeologist will find your ancestor's poetry scrolls. He seems huh? awfully clumsy. Not to worry. I am sure those scrolls are as good as found. So that guy's a professional treasure hunter? Yeah, and I'm going along to watch him in action. Really? Treasure hunting? Sounds exciting. I'm in. Great. Hop on, Shehu. Let's go. Careful, little friends. You don't want to... Oh, oh, oh. <coughs> hey, pals. Who's that guy making the big splash? He's Sir Richard, a real live treasure hunter. We're going with him to find some really old poetry. Oh, I love poetry. <coughs> Lychees are red. Kumquats are blue. Kumquats aren't blue. Hey, what do you expect? I'm colorblind. Oh, hey, can I come too? Yeah, sure, but let's go. We have to keep up. Hmm. According to the map, there should be a cave somewhere near this path. Okay, Sagwa? I'm fine, but what happened to Sir Richard? The cave! By George, we found it! You really are my lucky little kitten. Well, onward we go! You heard the man, let's go! Which 
way. be getting out through this way. This is terrible. We could be stuck in here forever. And it's so dark. It's hard to see. I can see. No problem. Of course you can. You're a cat. And since cats have the best eyesight in the dark, I'll be the one to lead us out. Wait a minute, Sagwa. Bats know caves like the back of their wings. My supersonic hearing will get us out of here. I'll lead. Oh, no, you don't. I'd be the best leader. I'm small and quick, and that's what you need in a cave with lots of teeny spaces to squeeze through. Look, we can just take turns, okay? There's a tunnel, and I say we try it. Fine, you're in charge. For now. Told you I was a good leader. <laughs> Great leading, Sagwa. That's it. My turn now. Time for my ears to get to work. <gasps> Sorry about that. There's another cave that way. Follow me. I'll show you who's in charge. Who's the boss here? I know what I'm doing. Whoa. Whoa. That's it! You two had your chances! I'm gonna be in charge now! Come on! This way! Oh, great, Shehu! Right into a wall! That's no wall! It's a huge boulder! Run! Where are we? Cool! I bet these are the scrolls of poetry! Thanks for the good news. The bad news is, there's no way out of here. Oh, it's, it's your, your fault. fault. No, it's your... Um, wait. We have to stop bossing each other around. There she goes, trying to take over again. Look, Shehu, maybe we goofed up before, but we were trying to outdo each other. Now I think it's time to help each other. Hey! Hey! I can hear a hole! Up there! Good ears, Fufu! I think I see a hole, but it's tiny. We'll never get through there! We won't, but I will! And then I'll see how to get you guys out! What do you think, Shehu? Can you move any of the rocks? I, I don't think I'm I'm strong enough. Way to go, Shehu! All right, 
Wait! Go, team! But which way? All the tunnels look the same. Those two don't seem to go anywhere, but I can see that the middle one goes far. We've got to get that little kitten out! She saved my life! My poor Sagwa trapped in there. I should have said no. There she is. Oh! My little cat! By George, she's already out! And look, she's found a scroll! There must be more! Where did you find this, my little kitten? Where? I'm proud of you, Sagwa. You did a very good job. No, Mama. We did a good job. My eyes, my size, and my ears. <laughs> An ancient violin! I believe you call it an Ahu. <coughs> Here's one of Sun Yin Tzu's poems. The moon is blue, and so are you. Mornings are bright, and it's dark at night. Birds are flying backwards. Let's have noodles? Mm -hmm. huh? <laughs> Must be an old string. No! Careful with the instrument! No, no. <laughs> By George, another close call! Right, little kitten? Oh. Just good. It's girl. 